Since the outbreak of COVID-19 and the attendant ban on public gatherings, most churches across the globe have switched from conventional church services to holding services online and so using social media platforms. This development has created a surge in the number of churches streaming online, while others are still making use of other conventional media platforms like TV and radio to conduct Sunday service. To share how this online experience has been so far, I'm joined by Dele Agbogun. He is the pastor in charge of online services at Daystar Christian Center. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. What has been the experience so far holding services online since the outbreak of COVID-19? Well, I would say the experience has been uh, exciting. Um, you know, what seemed normal before, uh, kind of, if you don't really approach it with an open mind, can be abnormal. The new normal now is dynamism, and therefore what we are experiencing now is totally different from what we used to have before. But uh, gratefully, um, in this Star Christian Center, before now we have the operational and even the technical structure in place. We've been running online services for some years now. Uh, the only difference now is that we move practically everything online. So even though we still have a little bit of challenge here and there, uh, it makes it a bit easier transiting from uh, having physical gathering to now fully online. How easy was it for your church to switch from the conventional services in di at this time when there is lockdown, no movement and all of that? I know you were saying it's a bit easy, but could you explain to us how you managed to do the switch? Okay. Um, this When we heard about the information, um, like I said, I said before now, we've been uh, running online services for some time. It's just that there are people that watch online and we see conduct physical services. Uh, it's not as easy as that, I may say, because there is a whole lot of things that you, have, you need to now put in place. Uh, practically everything you do now in the service element have to now go digital. And it's digital dynamism that we have even read, actually entered into now. So what we have done uh, as a church and being the online pastor of the Star Christian Center uh, was to uh, rework the entire structure and look at each of the teams that we use as a structure in running our services and seeing how people get some recorded items. Before the lockdown happened, what we did was to ensure that we did a recording that last that will last for about a month. Uh, the only difference is um, maybe the weekly message. Now, currently, uh, our senior pastor, what he does is to preach from the comfort of where he lives and is being sent via internet and is incorporated into the other recorded items and we roll. Okay, some conservatives are still finding it rather hard to understand why churches should shut down because of the outbreak of the virus. Is this a matter of fate or a question of belief? Um, you know, Change is a difficult thing for any human being to uh, adopt because if you are not flexible at this time and in this age, you'll find it difficult. What was normal some years back is no longer normal now, and what was raining a few years back is not raining now. So it's actually not uh, a question. It's not about it's not about uh, shutting down the, the, uh, your your wisdom that God has actually given you is about embracing the new change, you know, being humble enough, being humble enough to embrace the change, knowing that everything that goes on right now will not always be like that. And I'm telling you, whatever we're embracing now, another few years down the line, what we are seeing as new now will become the old order. What lessons has the experience projected for the church and the nation as a whole? Well, I would say um, one of the lessons is that uh, people uh, it it is brought a lesson of humility to to let you know that um, one virus can actually ground the entire operations of the physical gathering. Um, we should give attention to human relations because it's playing it's playing more out of even though I'm saying we should leverage on technology because another 
take away from here is the need for us to leverage on technology in order to see people to reach people. So we need to allow that also to be. Um, then we need to embrace changes, changes to our businesses, to the way we run things. Um, for church, we are into the business of people, and our own measurement of profit has to do with impact on what we have on people's lives. So how else can we achieve this? Then we have to be more creative. Your creativity is limited to the level of openness that you are ready to um, uh, give the current reality that we find ourselves in. And so uh, for me, the experience has always now been that, okay, we find a way of reaching out because, like I said earlier, we have a structure in place whereby we now have direct interaction with people that are watching online, everybody online now. So we have a way of being creative about it, whereby we're able to ask questions about people's concern and people are able to express their concern and we reach out to them via emails, via direct DMs and the rest like that. So uh, that's some of those lessons that we actually have now. All right, Doctor, thank you very much for joining us on the news. Thank you very much once again for having me.